right, court is calling 2024 CR1619 State versus Philippe Lopez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense. Christopher Castro for the defense, supervising attorney for a student attorney, Nicholas Asaro. Oh, Nicholas, you want to make your announcement for the record? Yes, Nicholas Asaro. Right. You need to say Nicholas Asaro for the defendant, Felipe Lopez. Right. Did you understand the state is proceeding on the lesser included offense of terroristic threat as a class A misdemeanor? The range of punishment yes, is sir. up to one year in the Bear County Jail and up to a $4,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding you guilty as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding in sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. All right, anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Lopez uh, was in this situation, he was being Bullied at school, Your Honor. Um, I would like to say that the state's exhibit number one, which tags the high school, was not actually done by Mr. Lopez. It was, it was a story he shared and then shared by another student that tagged the school. So that may be a little misleading based on the, the picture itself. Um, but he did not tag the school itself in that exhibit. I just want to let the court. Thank you. How old are you? 19, Your Honor. All right, you're 19. So, and I'm assuming. This person, Santanella, was that your friend? Who you are? Joe Santanella. I know Santanella. It's two L's. Santanella. Was that your friend? No, sir. No, no, you not He's never been your friend in the past. All right. So, who was Victoria to you? Just somebody that we knew through Joe. I'm sorry. Somebody I knew through Joe. All right. So everyone. We're on the record. Don't talk behind the court reporter. So that's someone you knew? Yes. yes All right. right. So it seems from reading the reports that it was more than just someone you knew. This was sort of like a love interest between the two of you. Yes, ma'am. All right. So here's the thing. You need to be 100% honest with me. You understand? Yes, ma'am. So I don't know why people who are in high school or in middle, well, I don't even understand the dating, serious dating in middle school. I guess I'm aging myself. That just was not allowed. But when you're in high school, eh, maybe it's the love of your life. Maybe y'all going to end up getting married. Maybe not. From what I've seen in this world, usually those are just, you know, we're just dating. They're just experiences. And then you move on. You understand? Yes, she doesn't want you in that way. I don't think she wants to speak to you at all. So you're not allowed to talk to her. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Are you still going to this high school? No, Your Honor. All right. And Joe, don't want to speak to you. You're not allowed to speak to him at all. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. And here's what I can tell you. When you have a relationship and your best friend starts dating the person you're in a relationship with, usually that's not your best friend. That's not a friend. Because if that person were your best friend or your friend, they would tell the other party who wants to date them, no, another time, another place. You know, it's like Erica Baidu, see you next lifetime. I'm with somebody else right now. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. So you're going to be hit with a lot of things in your life that you think are not fair, but you got to roll with the punches and keep going forward. You don't put stuff in writing. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. And in your writing, you're used in the N word. I bet you were shocked when you saw me here. Right? Yes, Your Honor. So this is what I was always told. This is what my mother's teacher told her when she was in school back in the, I think, back in the 50s. You know what she always told them? Don't ever put anything in writing that you don't want the entire world to see. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. Now, the fact that you're using the N-word, I'm not holding that against you. Young people are just doing crazy, stupid things. That is not an appropriate word to be using. Do you understand? Yes, I don't care what people are doing in rapped or whatever, whatever. MC Light said that she was shocked when she went to a club, when people started calling females the B word and using the N word. She's like, when I started out in rap, people were not using that language. Not good language to use. Do you understand? Yes, and it's not good to make threats against people. 
when your heart is broken, I don't care if it's breaking in a thousand pieces and you want to cry. Guess what? The person who broke your heart, just look in their face and smile and then go back to your room, go talk to somebody that you know, your mom, your dad, and cry it out there. You understand? Yes. Sir. Are you employed? Yes, sir. What do you do? Construction, your honor. All right. What are your plans for the future? What is your dream job? Construction, your honor. Oh, well, look, you're on a great path. You're already doing what you want to do. How far did you go in school? 11th grade, your honor. All right, you're gonna to have to graduate, okay? Yes, ma'am. And then if you really wanna be in construction and hope to move up, sometimes people will be in construction and things will fall into your lap. Next thing you know, you're owning a company. Education never hurt anybody. If you wanna end up owning your own company, you can, but you probably should take some business classes. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, this is what the court is gonna do. The court is gonna sentence you to two years deferred adjudication. Uh, there's to be no fine. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. There's to be regular random UAs. There's to be no contact. I'm going to order 80 hours of community service restitution. If you obtain your GED or if you obtain some kind of type of trial um, trade school certificate or if you take a business course. I will deem uh, those community service hours satisfied. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Thank you so much for dressing appropriately for Thank court. You. And what is your name again? Nicholas Asaro. Nicholas? Asaro. Asaro? Yes, ma'am. All right, everyone, this is a student attorney, Nicholas Asaro. Give him a round of applause. He did great. Come in anytime you want to. What uh, level are you at in school? Uh, so three L's. 3L. Oh my gosh, you're almost here. All right, yes, thank sir. you. So what will happen is probation will speak to your client and go over conditions with them and then you all are excused. Yes, Your Honor. Thank all right, you. thank you. Thank you.